Hello all, welcome to Hoppa Studies YouTube channel. With this video, I am going to start GitHub playlist. So in this entire playlist, we will be discussing about Git and GitHub and how to use it effectively. Okay, especially the developers when they wanted to work on a code base in an effective way by collaborating with others, right? So GitHub is very helpful tool, right? So everybody uses it. So it is a very relevant that to know about the git and github uh, whatever the role you work so this video we will be focusing on what is github GitHub is actually it's like a platform that will host the code and it will also provide you the version control and collaboration features so what that means is um, generally let's assume if you are working on a project where you develop a code so in that project not only you along with you a lot of other people also work right so everybody cannot have their own personal copy right so they cannot develop in their system and give it to you so a centralized repository generally is needed okay so from there everybody take the code and do their development and keep the code back at the end of the day so that kind of a centralized repository that kind of a, a proper tool that will help you to host the code in a proper way right so that is called github okay and in the github you have a version control as well so what is the version control means is so let's say you are working on a uh, file uh, a python file where you are developing a code so you did some changes today and you did some changes tomorrow so whenever you do some changes on that python file right so the version control will make sure to maintain all the changes in a version fashion so that at, at any given point of time you can revert back to the previous changes it will maintain all the history all the track of the edits and updates okay and definitely the github will come up with a collaborative features that means all engineers who works on the development of that project who working on who is writing the code right they all can collaborate with each other so all this if it is not making sense in upcoming videos we will do practically so that time you will understand it okay uh, yeah so it says that right it enables you and others work together on the projects from anywhere in the world because wherever you sit right the only thing is you need a internet and you need a github uh, account where the code is hosted and a, wherever you sit right you can collaboratively work on a single project the uses of the github is hosting and sharing the code with others you can host the code and you can share the code with anybody else and you can track and assign the issues so let's assume if there is any issue you can create an issue and assign it to somebody like your code has some issue please go and fix it something like that right so that facility is also available there and there is actually something called pull request mechanism so using the pull request mechanism you, you can generally review somebody else's code right if somebody else has written some code you can review that and then you can suggest some changes or you can approve that particular process or that particular change right so that is called pull request in github actually and uh, yeah you can collaborate and work on others projects so generally what this means is so in github what will happen right many people create their own projects if let's say if i have an idea of creating an application that may be like a chatbot kind of a thing right so now what i wanted to do is i wanted to uh, make sure that anybody on the world right who is a developer who is interested to help me in that project uh, to collaborate with me and work on that development right i can create it as a open source project in a github and uh, whoever want to contribute to that project that means whoever wants to develop something in that project they, they can easily do that in the github so all these things we will see practically in future so don't worry so for this video just have an idea that github is a platform it's like a website uh, or application where you can host the code whatever the code you are developing in the project you can keep it there and host it there and anybody within the team right so they can access that code and work parallelly in a collaborative fashion okay so just have that basic idea and let's understand how to sign up for this github account so to sign up for this account right so you need to go to github.com website so just go here github.com website and then once you go there you can click this sign up button here to sign up for github so let me hit this sign up button here and uh, you you have to use your email id here so i will use my email id which is mahirbasha at the rate outlook.com so i am using that 
and hit the continue button so it is asking me to create a password so let me create password here okay uh, now let me hit the continue button to continue that okay it looks password is not that strong so let me try this okay okay so i am typing some another password so let me hit continue then it is asking me to set the username maybe i will set the username as mahir basha and uh, it is asking me like you want email preferences and all that is fine i don't want so i am hitting continue now it is verifying my account so let's wait for this verification to complete here protecting your account. please solve the puzzle when you you are real so it is asking me to solve this puzzle okay so let me hit this verify button so use the arrow to rotate the object to face it in the direction of the hand okay i did rotate it here uh, to face that in the direction of the hand now i am submitting it so verify done there so they have sent me a code on the mahir basha at the right outlook dot com so let me open my email here and let me refresh and see if i got any email with the code here okay it looks that i got one here so i have clicked that uh, email now let's wait for it to open here so this is the code 9397-6498 okay verification completed the account was created successfully please sign in so let me sign in this so my account got created successfully so now it is asking me to sign in okay so i am trying to sign in here cool see welcome to github that means i am able to sign in here so would you like to describe myself student teacher so i can select anything here uh, how many team members you work so i can select anything so for now i will say like just me okay so i am interested to collaborate and work okay so that's what i have selected i am interested in community to continue so it is asking me to free or get additional student benefits you can choose anyone so continue for free cool this is my github account you can see that now i landed under the dashboard okay so if you want to see your profile you can click this icon here and you can see you can profile your repositories there is something called repository there we actually host the code right now you see that there is a no repository right so you can see that sorry i did something wrong let me open that my page once again see right now there is no repositories here right because i haven't created any repositories yet okay so it is like a plain github account which i created right now there is nothing okay so nothing there is so i can switch to my home page here which is a dashboard basically and i can see here so you can see there are some suggestions coming from the github uh, to write to create a repository here uh, and uh, and also you can see you can explore some repositories from the github somebody else's repository if you want to explore explore it and see if you want to contribute there you can contribute that so all that you can do that so for now uh, this is enough okay so in our upcoming video we will discuss more about what is repository how it look like how to host the code there and there is something called git how the git will help in our local system we have to install git and you have to use some git commands when you are working on it so all those things we will discuss in our upcoming videos I hope that's it in this video. So I wanted to focus mainly on the what is GitHub and what is and how, what are the uses of it and how to sign up to it. So I hope you got an idea. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.